Welcome to this comprehensive tutorial on using OpenGL with Java through the lightweight Java game library, also known as LWJGL. In this video, we will explore the steps required to set up LWJGL and start rendering graphics using OpenGL. Let's dive in. First things first, let's make sure we have everything we need to get started. We will need a Java development kit installed on our system as well as an IDE where we can write our code. Here, I recommend using IntelliJ IDEA or Eclipse. Now let's download the LWJGL library. Go to the LWJGL homepage at lwjgl.org and navigate to the download section. You will find a custom download generator where you can choose the LWJGL version and additional features like OpenGL, OpenAL, and GLFW. Once you've selected your options, click download and extract the resulting zip file to a convenient location. Keep it handy as we'll be referencing it in our project. Next, let's create a new Java project in our IDE. Open IntelliJ IDEA and select New Project. Choose Java from the options and then click Next. Name your project OpenGL Demo and finish the setup. Now, we need to add the LWJGL library to our project. In IntelliJ, right-click on your project directory, select Open Module Settings, then go to the Libraries section. Click the plus icon and select Java. Navigate to the extracted LWJGL folder and select the jar files inside the build folder. Add these jar files to your project. Also, don't forget to add the native libraries. Go back to Open Module Settings, select your library, and in the Native Library Location field, point to the native folder from the extracted LWJGL files. Now that the setup is complete, Let's start coding. First, we'll create a new Java class named main. This is where our entry point for the application will be. Inside the main method, we will set up GLFW, which is a library for creating windows and managing input. First, we have to initialize GLFW with the following lines of code. Next, let's create a window. We will set the window size to 800 by 600 and give it a title. This is done using the following method. After creating the window, we need to make the context current by using the following line of code. This ensures that our rendering will be directed to the newly created window. Then, we will set the viewport size, which is the rectangle area of the window where OpenGL draws. This is done using the GL viewport method. Now we have our window set up, but we also need to set up an event loop to keep our window open. For this, we can use a while loop that runs until the window is closed. Inside this loop, we will render graphics. However, before rendering, let's initialize OpenGL. LWJGL provides a method to create an OpenGL context, which we can do right after making the context current. Let's also add some simple rendering logic. For example, we can clear the screen to a specific color. This is done using the GLClearColor and GLClear methods. To render our triangle, we must first set up the vertex data. OpenGL works with buffers, so we need to create a vertex buffer object, VBO. Here's how we set up a simple triangle. Now we need to create a buffer in OpenGL to hold our triangle's vertex data. We will need to bind the buffer before we can send the vertex data to OpenGL. Next, we will set up vertex attribute pointers so that OpenGL knows where to find our vertex attributes. This is essential for OpenGL to understand our vertex structure. Now we can actually render our triangle inside the event loop. We do this by calling GLDrawArrays, telling OpenGL to render using the vertex data stored in our VBO. To summarize what we've done, we initialized GLFW, created a window, set up OpenGL capabilities, and rendered a triangle. Here's the entire loop from start to finish. Finally, don't forget to terminate GLFW after you exit the loop to clean up resources. Place this line after the loop. Congratulations! You've created your first OpenGL application in Java using LWJGL. If you want to enhance your project, consider learning about shader programming next. It allows you to customize the rendering pipeline drastically. Thank you for watching. If this tutorial helped you understand how to use OpenGL with LWJGL, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more Java programming tutorials and game development tips. Leave your comments below if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover next. Happy coding!